Hello everyone, we are Smart Wearable BioTracker VIP. Our vision is to develop a smart wearable devices that can predict the hand gestures in real time. In this project, we were under the advisement of Professor Tysar, who was basically in the Department of uh, Electrical and Computer Engineering, as well as the Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Departments. So our wearable device is geared towards medical use, industrial use, and AR and VR. For medical use, we want to target amputees or anybody who has limb loss and Parkinson's patient and stroke patients. For the industrial use, we want to target workers who use exoskeleton to lift heavy objects. And for the AR and VR, we want to target essentially everybody and anybody who is into gaming. So our wearable MMG is accelerometer based. In each of our units that we have to measure the muscle vibrations, we have two accelerometers, one for reading the noise and the other one for reading noise and muscle vibration. And we take a differential reading to get just the muscle vibrations. So after the um, sensors have been soldered to the PCB, the PCB is to be fitted into a wearable. The wearable consists of five units, four of which are the sensor units. The sensor units have two accelerometers. One is attached to the case itself, and the other one is attached to a foam which isolates the movement of the accelerometer. This allows us to collect a clean MMG signal coming from the arm. The signal is collected through a rod which is uh, attached to the bottom of the case. And finally, for the fifth unit, we have the microcontroller which is attached to it. This method is novel because it incorporates MMG, which means that it's sweatproof and also non-invasive, which means it doesn't have to penetrate the skin. Therefore, our users, our patients, won't require any surgeries to use our smart wearable device. So in conjunction with the wearable device, we have a team dedicated to the exploration and implementation of deep learning based methods for the classification and prediction of hand gestures. With our techniques, we are able to reduce the time from signal detection to model prediction by both reducing the pre-processing time itself, as well as optimizing our model selection to require as little data as possible. Our noble point is that we use transient phase instead of the whole signal of the hand gesture, which means we were doing prediction instead of classification. We also conducted transfer learning on the proposed dilated efficient CAPSNAP model to improve the model accuracy with much less trainable parameters and training time. The result of our AI work is accepted for publication in IEEE Robotics and Automation Letters. In addition, it is invited for presentation in IEEE IROS 2022 in Kyoto. This shows the novelty and impact of the proposed transfer learning approach, which will discuss generalizability in the context of neural interfaces. So for our future plans, we intend to continue pushing state-of-the-art hand gesture prediction by increasing accuracy predi gesture prediction accuracy while decreasing the prediction time. So the wireless team in this project acts more like a bridge. It provides our users a more seamless experience without the wireless team. The users have to uh, wear a lot of wires when they actually go with the armband. We want to provide our users a full range of motion while they're using that. Within our wireless side of the team, we want to be able to go into a more 5G protocol um, side of things it's because of the fact that in our modern today, um, that's a trajectory in which um, we are headed towards. So that's essentially where we want to go. So my VIP team, we presented at the Tandon Research Excellence Exhibit. I think we did an amazing job. We competed against 10 other VIP teams and we ended up winning first place overall VIP team, which was super exciting for all of us. We had some difficulties. We had PCB snapping. We had Wi-Fi protocol issues. We had to debug so much code, but I'm excited to see what we do next because this project has so, so, so much potential.